Hey folks, I heard about an old train station that was opened in 1983. It's supposed to be one of the oldest stations in southern Japan. It's still operational, so I'm sure I can find something to paint there. Let's check it out. I hope you enjoy Osumi Yokogawa Station because I decided to paint the scene where the train is arriving at the back of the station. I know it's usually better to paint the front of the station, uh, but you know the train is just as important as the station, so I decided to paint that scene. I have done something similar in the past, painting the front of the station. That's the Katagawa Station video, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, but this time, I think it's worth trying something different. So I'm trying to paint the train here with some yellow and blue. Uh, this is an older style train. It runs through remote places in Kagoshima, Japan. About every an hour or so, uh, I was fortunate enough to ride it when there was no one in it. And that was a very pleasant and enjoyable train ride, just seeing different places that uh, I've never seen before. I'm considering riding it from start to finish next time. Uh, it also kind of reminds me of those Studio Ghibli movies. And if you've ever been to Tokyo, Japan or any other big cities, you know how crowded and busy it gets during certain hours. So being able to 
Take my time with no one around, just enjoy the natural sceneries. It was a change of pace and I really enjoyed that. Russ adds character to the train, so let's try to paint them with some reddish brown here. I'm using a pen here to outline the train. Um, it kind of helps to make things pop out so I know where I'm going with this. I know some people don't like uh, using pen on watercolor painting uh, because it's not watercolor. Uh, and I understand that, but uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to outline it here so we can get through this painting. Still learning how to paint uh, deeper dark colors in shadows. Uh, it's definitely one of my flaws that I'm still working on. Part of the appeal and charm of older train station is of course the history but also the atmosphere could be the wood, the walls, or the tranquility of the surrounding. There, there's something about it I can't put my finger on it. And if you like these kind of things, you know what I'm talking about. Here I'm painting the inside of the station and something did happen during filming. I didn't show it in the video but there was this very young gentleman. He was sleeping in the train station for a long time and obviously I can't film him while he's sleeping in there so I waited out until he was finished and he left. Then I can begin uh, filming but you know, what can you do? For the outside of the station, not trying to get too detailed, paint it loosely. I didn't even really get a chance to explore the outside, so, you know. painting the yellow pavements here on the platform and this is something I always admire about Japan that I don't see in America. These yellow pavements are for guiding the visually impaired through roads to the exit to escalators and of course to here on the train platform. It's very thoughtful and I just hope it's much more common around the world. Getting near the end of the painting here, just going to paint some grass around the railroad and splatter some paint around as I usually like to do. And that should be the painting.
Hope you enjoyed this quick tour and painting of Osumi Yokogawa Station. I hope you can join me for my next location and painting. Take care and bye bye.